So you fully UV'd your model. As you can see here, we're still only working on one side of the model initially. And what, I'll, what I've also done is set this up as a temporary scene because the UVs aren't going to change now. We can bake out the maps from this scene, do what we like in this scene, and then discard it. So just to make things easier for this process, combine your torso into a single model and combine your limbs into a single model as well. And as you can see, we have our UVs in this first 0, 1 grid square here, which is where our main texture page is going to be generated. The same for the limbs. And again, we're only working on one half of the limbs because the maps that are going to be output can also be mirrored across from this side to this side. So again, rather than doing twice the work, we'll just work on one side and then mirror it across to the other. So while we have our model in, in, uh, in Maya, like I said, before we go into Photoshop, we're going to bake out a few textures and that will give us a good head start to generating our texture maps. The first texture we're going to generate is an occlusion map. Um, and what this is going to do is bake out all the global illumination, um, the, sort of the ambient lighting associated with the model. So it's going to add more depth to the model and everything's going to sit nicely with each other. You'll see that what I mean uh, as we as we uh, get going. So let's close that down. Um, so what we need to do first, again, something else that uh, Maya doesn't work well with, um, with smooth mesh, is baking out textures. So what we need to do first is just make sure smooth mesh is enabled, just double check that smooth all is set on your map borders. Smooth UVs, smooth all. That's right. Now we need to bake in these subdivisions. Now rather than going in and using a smooth, we can go to modify, convert, smooth mesh preview to polygons. So we'll do that there. Press G just to repeat that process. And then we'll just do a delete by type history just to clean those up. So as you can see, that top that geometry has just been baked into the model, which will just give us a nicer result. Um, if we don't do that, then Maya will only work off the low resolution proxy model. So you'll end up with some nasty artifacts uh, and basically a rubbish looking occlusion map. What we're also going to do is we're going to duplicate this limb, scale it across minus one. Now that doesn't really matter, that's just there as a placeholder. And that is because as we're generating lighting information on the torso, we want it to think that these limbs are there so that it's going to add in the shadows and things around here. Again, we're only going to be baking out one side of the limb, but you need that extra model there to get that lighting information as if it was part of the model anyway. And what we're also going to do is create a plane. So we've got sort of a floor there and our model's floating off the floor a little bit. What I'm going to do is just move this down so he's not actually sitting on the floor. So the underneath of the feet won't be completely black but they will be dark. And what this also does is allows the photons which will be working out the occlusion pass to bounce off the floor and up. So you'll get a lot better lighting underneath the model because you've got this acting as that sort of uh, shadow area. So rather than being floating in the sky, it's, it will be as if it's actually sitting on the floor.